hilarious had I not pressed record jokes um hi guys how are you doing I hope things are bright enough here it seems really gloomy today so my apologies for that I have to start by saying first of all thank you to Mary and Brendan whose camera I'm borrowing they are friends of ours um because when I tried to film this look last week my camera died right before my eyes it just gave up the ghost so I then went and filmed this, this look and put it in my stories on Instagram if you don't follow me there on Instagram please do I'm at Hannah Martin makeup um, so I shared the stories and it's on my highlights but there's nothing quite like watching a video is there so I'm gonna do it here now anyway I also thank you to all my new subscribers had a note from someone saying I like your looks but they're all kind of samey and I think that stemmed from my initial desire when I started my channel was just to be a possibly a bit of a kickback against what other people were doing and just teach really simple makeup looks but I'm so here for um, less simple makeup looks so today I'm going to use oh I've got a lovely pile of products to my left shove those there I'm going to use none other than this beauty, the Born to Run palette from Urban Decay. My love affair with Urban started years ago, I was probably 15, and this is Midnight Cowgirl, but it started with one shade called Midnight Cowboy, which is a champagne with glitter in. I loved it. Sin then became my kind of everyday staple. If I went out clubbing with my bestie Amelia, then it would be Sin, a bit of Chopper, a bit of Oil Slick at the lash line. Um, so yeah, the brand has always had a special place in my heart. Let's get cracking with this gorgeous green eye then, shall we? Just to say as well, if you don't follow me on Insta, go and check out the model Lulu, whose makeup I did with this palette, which inspired me to try it on myself. I should probably move <laughs> these other dreamy palettes away. I'll definitely do a cherry look soon and possibly even an ultraviolet. Okay, first things first, just gonna do a bit of lip balm. This is the Disco Nap Lip Balm from Ciate. I've already partially prepped my skin, but before makeup, let me now just do some Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. One of the ultimate holy grail, shall we say, of makeup prep. A large pea size. And I'm just gonna smooth that into my skin. Now for my skin, I'm going to use the Urban Decay Stay Naked Foundation. This is 41 nm. I've got two pumps there, but that's going to be more than enough, I think. But what I love about this formula, if you look at Lulu's picture on my Instagram. Can I link that? I'll endeavour to link that so you can take a look. Um, but you could see her stunning freckles through the foundation and that's why I like this. It's, it is long wearing, it does last all day, but it's not crazy full coverage. Okay, concealer is Stay Naked Concealer and this is 40NN. always come back and add a bit more concealer in a bit and a glug of tea because let's face it tea fixes everything right okay let's do a bit of contour shall we I'm going to use my tan tool from Huda and I'm just using it here with the Bobbi Brown full coverage face brush making sure that I keep it quite high and through my forehead as well. And then blend up. I just love the way this blends. And I do like to start my makeup with 
as many cream based products as possible. You can always then layer with powder on top, which I might well do in a bit, but let's see how we get on with this. Good, am I looking nice and bronzed, guys and girls? Great, I can always add a little more in a bit. Just taking the excess through the crease of my eye. Although, shortly, that will be all beautifully bronzed. Before I do anything else, I'm gonna do some eyebrows. So let me grab my Pears Soap and, oi, my Urban Decay All Nighter. Just do one spritz in there. And then with my spoolie brush, just gonna scroll into the soap and then brush that through my brows to get a nice bit of height and lift, but also to set the brows in place. Then what's great is once we've done that, I can then go back through in a minute and fill in any gaps. I used to always do it the other way around, so kind of do the filling in and then set the brows, but I much prefer doing it this way. I used to do, like I love the Anastasia brow gel. That's great for using first to brush brows up. Okay, now I'm gonna use my Anastasia Pro brow palette just to fill in my brows a bit. I'm actually gonna go into dark brown and I'm just gonna push some of that powder through the gaps I can see. Just small strokes following the direction of the growth of the hairs. If you find you've got some pretty intense gaps in your brows, maybe you've got a scar or something, then I'd highly recommend the Brow Blade by Urban Decay. Um, it's a really gorgeous, fine tip felt tip on one end and then a pencil on the other and the felt tip is just brilliant at filling in any gaps I'm just going to doubly make sure they're set this is the clear brow gel from Anastasia There we go. Time for a little bit of powder, and I'm gonna use this beautiful powder. It's the finishing powder in Outstanding from Zoeva. Just a touch through my T-zone, under my eyes, and just down the side of my chin. Not too much, because I'm going to use now a little bit of the Naked Threesome. Ooh. So I'm going to go into the bronzer first and just top up what I've already done. So it's really nice to set any cream bronzer you might have done with the powder bronzer just to keep it in place for the day. Let's not neglect those necks. A little bit through the forehead. And then just a touch of that beautiful pinky peach blush. Just kind of at the back of the apple of the cheek and blended back to meet the bronzer. Just make sure all the edges are blended. And then with the soft highlight shade, let's just take a bit of that. Just over the top of the cheeks, not loads. This is more of an eye look than it is a highlight look. But who doesn't love a teeny bit of a sheen, hey? First I'm gonna use a little bit of the primer potion. This is the original, so it's colorless. Although I do love, I love the honey, which is more golden. And actually the sin beautiful too it's like a slightly shimmering champagne which is beautiful just worn on its own 
I'll blend that all over the lid and it just acts as a barrier to prevent any oil coming through the lid and smudging the powder shadow but it also creates a really gorgeous base for the pigment to adhere to you so you get the strongest most colour true finish from the shadows. And I'm going to go into Wonderlust and Big Sky, these stunning greens and press that into the movable part of the lid. Oh, look at that. And I find by doing a pressing motion, not only do you get the best colour payoff, but you limit the amount of fallout. So don't worry about being too neat at this point. At this point, the aim is just to really set the colour down. Then I'm going to take a clean brush and just blend out the crease a little. Helicopter. Okay, now I'm going to go into the Baja and just start pulling it up. Through the crease just to add that real beautiful warmth do you love this soft terracotta tone and then blend with fluffy brush to pull the colour a bit higher but also to blend out the edges. Do you want to make sure that the strength of this colour is here? There's something so incredible about these rusty russet tones aren't there? Now to build up some of the depth of the tone, I'm going to go into punk and start pulling that into the outer corner of the eye. So I'm first kind of pushing and then blending. Look at that. I'll blend the edges in just a sec. And this is the Zoeva. Lux Soft Definer and again I'm pushing that into the crease more than anything gradually blending into the colours already there I do love this process of layering shadows into each other and then with a clean brush I'm just going to buff through the crease and just make sure it's all blending together nicely. And then underneath the lash line, I'm gonna start with Baja and take that under. I want this fairly intense. But I'll start with this. And then build up the intensity of the color at the lash line. Don't be afraid if this gets fairly Thick. I actually think the thicker the smoke along the bottom, the softer it looks. And be sure to bring it out to meet the outside corner. Then we're going to go back into the punk, which is that gorgeous deep aubergine colour. I've got aubergines on my mind, it's because I'm cooking aubergine curry tonight. Oof. Go ahead and push that into the outer corner just to intensify the lash line a little. Let's just go back to my original Baja brush and blend that. Now I'm going to take my 24-7 liner in perversion and just get that right into the root of the lashes on top. You'll see I'm just being fairly speedy, just doing lots and lots of little strokes right the way down into the inner corner of the eye because I'm going to blend that 
immediately. Now these are brilliantly long wearing, but that does mean you don't have long before you can blend. Am I doing that turkey neck thing again? I am, aren't I? Mm. Sorry, I'll try and relax my neck. Use another brush to buff the edge so it's soft and smoky. Same on the other side. Then the all important curl of the lashes. I'm gonna pop on um, some Demi Wispies because I love them. These are the Tweezerman eyelash curlers. I can't recommend them highly enough. Note to self, buy more Demi Wispies. So I've just taken it out. I've given it a bit of a wiggle just to loosen the band. I'm gonna use the dark duo glue and then we're just gonna wait for it to go tacky. Um, bronze goddess, do you mean the bronzer or the fragrance? The fragrance is like the beach in a bottle. So that was my friend Ruth. Okay, I'm gonna use these. These are by a brand called Zaku. Oh, that's it, Zaku. Anyone heard of Zaku? I find these really helpful. So you just slip them, your lashes into them. Simply drop the lash in the middle. And grab the outside corner, set that down, grab the inner corner and pop that down. Okey doke, then I'll just pinch those together. I'm much better at putting lashes on other people than I am myself. Thankfully. <laughs> that is amazing. I'd love to know what the uh, Estee Lauder bronzers are like. like. I'm tempted. So, yeah. I just want some solid advice on them, which is obviously you. Hmm. I, I actually just dropped my phone at the end of that. <laughs> and I just managed to stick an eyelash on upside down. I do not know what is wrong with me. My goodness. Um, I will let you know about the bronzers. Go away, I twitch. It's been two weeks. Sorry, I don't mean to break into song, but it's driving me crackers. I need to get magnesium, I need to get magnesium, I need to get magnesium. Oh, I went past Holland and Barrett this morning. Okay, whilst I wait for them to dry in place, let's do lips, shall we? Lips were super simple. I'm using the Spice Girl uh, Lip Contour from Huda Beauty. I'm just going to press my lips together to blend that slightly. I know it's much darker than I'd normally do. And then some of my beloved, all-time favourite Clarins Lip Perfector. This is the number six. It is very... I'm just squeezing out the last little bits here, but look at this. It. Oh, has it actually run out? No! There we go. Look at that for a beautiful light nude. Oh, 
This lip has made the look very 90s all of a sudden, hasn't it? Cool, let's do some mascara. I'm just gonna use a bit of my perversion. Again, this is a UD one, because that's what I used on the shoot when I was working with Lulu. And I'm just gonna blend my natural lashes and the Demi Wispies together. I just did mascara face. Okay, let's do some finishing touches. I'm gonna to take a little bit of uh, Stranded and Blaze together on a smaller brush and I'm just gonna buff that through the inner corner of the eye just to bounce a little bit of light. Look at that. Just take a tiny bit of breakaway and just slip that right under the brow. And finally for the piece resistance, a little bit of the heavy metal glitter liner. This one is in Midnight Cowboy. And I'm just gonna take that a little bit through the inner corner of the eye, just for a little bit of extra something, something. I'm not sure this showed up particularly well in the images, but it was a really pretty final touch. I almost forgot, let's do a little bit of liner. In the waterline, this is the Max Factor Coal in number three brown. I'm just gonna take that through the waterline just to deepen it slightly. I prefer brown with this look than black, just so it's not too, too hard. But if you're looking for more impact, then by all means use black instead. And there we have it, my recreation of the green smoky eye I created on the beautiful Lulu Stone using the absolute classic that is the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. Um, if you're a makeup lover or a makeup artist out there, I can't recommend it highly enough for all of its beautiful glorious array of colours. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed something a bit different. Um, if you haven't been here before, please do subscribe to my channel, give this video a like, and if you've got any questions or queries or video suggestions, pop them in the comments below. Guys, sending you all my love in the world. Take care and thanks for watching. Oui